In this video, we're going to take a look at the equations of vertical and horizontal lines. As a guide, we'll remember that we know the slope-intercept equation is y equals mx plus b. In this equation, we can see that clear y-intercept is at 2. And the slope has no rise to it, so the slope is going to be a slope of 0. It's completely flat, so slope, the measurement, uh, measure of steepness, must be 0. When we plug this into our slope formula, we get y equals m, our slope 0, times x, plus b, our y-intercept, of 2. However, you notice 0 times x is just 0, and we end up with y equals 2 for the actual equation of this line. Notice y equals 2 is a horizontal line that goes through the point 2 on the y-axis. We can use a similar logic on this next example. It's a vertical line that goes through the x-axis. At what point does it go through the x-axis? Negative 1, 2, 3, 4. At negative 4, we can see then that the equation must be x equals negative 4. Notice if we were to try and find the slope on this graph, it rises infinitely, but has no run. We would be dividing by 0. We can't divide by 0, and so the slope is undefined, and so we wouldn't be able to use the slope-intercept equation. Instead, we will remember that a horizontal line or a vertical line is simply whichever axis the line crosses, and at what point that crosses. This vertical line has an x-intercept of negative 4, and so the equation is x equals negative 4. The horizontal line has a y-intercept of 2, and so the y equals 2 becomes the equation.